The 11th Zambian International Mining Conference and Exhibition, Zime Conference, was held from the 2nd to the 3rd of November in Kitwe under the theme Investing in Zambia, Mine to Market, Clean Energy and Sustainable Development of Future Minerals. The Zimic attracts a unique and diverse range of stakeholders. Zesco Limited, the national power utility was in attendance as it is a major driver to achieving new developments and investments for further growth and expansion of the Copper Belt's clean energy transition and the general growth of the energy sector. Zambia has various energy resources such as predominantly hydro, solar, wind, geothermal, uranium, biomass, and waste to energy. Currently, our electricity installed capacity is about 3,777 megawatts. And at peak demand, we are at around 2,600 megawatts. However, with this high potential, um, only 34% of Zambia's population has access to electricity. Despite the low electrification rates that I have mentioned, this presents an opportunity for investment in the sector, especially given the projected increase uh, in demand, both from the agriculture sector as well as from the mining, uh, mining sector. I think you're well aware in terms of the mining sector, the aspirations, uh, where we want to move from 800,000, and I think I heard the, the president say a million now, to about three million tons in, a, uh, in the next decade. And the energy sector, as mentioned, is at 3,700 megawatts, and that means that we need to move to about 10,000 megawatts in the next 10 years. The mining sector, remains one of the largest consumers of electricity as well as of petroleum products. Um, I think you're all aware that in the last two and a half years, the energy sector has been going under vigorous reforms, both in the petroleum as well as in the electricity sector. Under electricity, there is an introduction of an open access regime, uh, where now the electricity market is being characterized by competitiveness, uh, more clarity, and transparency in terms of governance, um, this obviously providing a clear pathway um, for the investor. The electricity market currently is structured in a willing buyer, willing seller, uh, unlike before where we had a single buyer mod model where Zesco was uh, the off-taker of most of these uh, projects. Um, we have seen in the recent past over 300 feasibility studies that have uh, been approved in various technologies. Mr. Emmanuel Mbambiko, President, Kitwe and District Chamber of Commerce and Industry, highlighted on the role of stable power supply to enable local value addition. Um, you know, the support from uh, energy um, in value add is something that we cannot begin to debate about. It's extremely so key and very, very important. Because if you have to do value add, obviously there must be energy to support the engines that are running, uh, turning the raw materials into the finished product. And we are saying that uh, uh, it is not just the energy, but the emphasis is on two other things which are extremely essential. Number one, this energy must be clean. Number two, it must be sustainable. Uh, so value add, in the absence of sustainability uh, becomes a pipe dream. We need to have power which is constant to support the engines which are turning the raw materials, like I said much, much earlier on. That's extremely key. But I think the other thing that we need to emphasize is this language of clean energy drives us into creativity. And this is where we are saying that for our country we have uh, young entrepreneurs, I mean we have young engineers and I think it is my considered view that we need to push these young engineers to the limits. Push them um, uh, in such a way that they should be able to help us create smaller turbines as opposed to the big turbines that we're running. Create smaller turbines which gives us much bigger output. 
What that means is that, you know, where we have these turbines running currently, we have smaller turbines, and maybe where we have one monster, we can have um, two, or small, or two or three smaller turbines, giving us much bigger outputs. Electricity is a major component in sustaining increased productivity in mining, and the need for constant and adequate supply cannot be overemphasized. We have to have power before mining. Now, in terms of power, we need power that quality power. That means it's, it's stable, uh, it's, a, it's, it's, um, it's available and affordable. All right. So that when a mine uh, de uh, develops to production, when, it would, when an investor uh, develops a mine to production, he's not going to worry about availability of energy or power. Okay. So it has to be available of good quality. Uh, I think I suppose you can. We can also add one that if, if it's green, the better, so that we don't get people complaining about about the fact that we are using. Uh, um, unfriendly sources of, of energy to make our copper here, all our metals here. So if it's green, the better. Okay, but it has got to be uh, stable, uh, on a stable grid, and high quality, and a lot of it. Now, th now that's very important, you know, because um, if you don't have that, okay, then you will forever be uh, having instability in your, it's, you know, it's, you know, production, whether it's at mining or in the processing plant. And for information, if um, if we concentrate on open cast mining for now, we, are, we ourselves uh, in, in Zambia are providing leadership in terms of moving away from hydrocarbons as a source of energy in the open pit to electricity. Okay, so uh, for that alone, I think I can only but reiterate the point that we need plenty of energy, uh, high quality energy, st stable energy, and affordable. Now, currently, Zesco Limited is at almost 100% in terms of clean energy production. In actualizing this goal, the utility has so far decommissioned seven diesel-powered plants from 2017 to date. This was revealed during the panel discussion focusing on the energy transition and funding the acceleration. So as Zesco, we intend to to grow our installed capacity by 6.2 gigawatts, but that will require a lot of effort. We will need financing from our financiers here, but the number of things that are actually slowing down the acceleration of funding. When we look at the mining sector, it is actually a very important sector to the economy, but also a very important sector <laughs> to Zesco in terms of the re revenues. We are actually getting over 40% of our revenues from the mines. But in terms of the energy that the mining sector are actually drawing, is at peak is about 716 megawatts. One, one megawatt of power is generating, is producing, is actually helping to produce 1,000 metric tons of copper. Then now I was also looking at where we want to be as a country. By 2031, we would want to actually start producing about 3 million tons of, 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 of copper. The energy transition is growing in importance and urgency as a global sustainable development priority and attracting sufficient funding and investment is crucial to its timely success. Paxina Hankanga, reporting.